If a black widow walked into a Venus flytrap, what would happen? Would the trap close on top of the spider and eat it whole? Or would the black widow be able to use its venom to squeeze its way out? Well, I'm going to be testing just that, along with tons of other insect types to see how strong Venus flytraps really are. Now, to get a Venus flytrap, you got to, of course, buy one online. And so I found this website. There was two different options of stuff to buy. A cheap $10 Venus flytrap bundle and an expensive $100 bundle. Oh, this is actually perfect. I think I'm going to buy both of these trap bundles. Then I'll be able to test a cheap and expensive trap to see which will be more effective at catching insects. But hey, I guess let me just check them out. And thankfully, only a couple days later, I got the traps delivered in the mail. After taking them out, I separated them into cheap and expensive. You can see the cheap Venus fly traps actually gave me quite a lot for just $10. And the traps themselves did look pretty healthy, big, and had that signature green and red color. Nice. However, over on the expensive side, you can see these are a bit different. They're not even packaged at all, and they look way more natural with moss all around the dirt. However, the main difference in these ones is that they're basically fully red. Like, they literally look like an apple. I've never seen Venus fly traps like that. But other than that, these traps mostly look the same, and hopefully at least one of them will be able to successfully trap a black widow. But before we test the black widow, we also got some other insects to test, starting with a fly. And thankfully, I'm a weird bug guy, so I just got a container of a bunch of flies, which might actually mostly be dead, but I think some are alive in there. First of all, let's get the plants in their testing chambers, and we'll be testing the strength of the cheap $10 traps first. Without wasting any time, I just put in a single fly and put 30 minutes on the clock. And if it gets caught before the timer's up, I'll add in some more flies. But instantly, as you can see, the fly started to climb along the glass to try and escape. Thankfully though, I've sealed this enclosure shut and once the fly realized that, he ended up going back down to the floor. Now this is where things get interesting because the fly landed on one of the pots with all of the Venus flytrap plants. What makes Venus flytrap so effective is actually their nectar. Just like normal flowers, these traps also produce nectar around this little green lip part of the plant. And basically what it's designed to do is lure hungry insects in and while they're eating the plant, of course it shuts. But I guess because these plants are so cheap, they didn't have very much of that nectar. Because after standing around for like a minute, the fly just flew away without even stepping in any of the jaws. And from there on out, the fly basically drained the 30 minute timer down all the way to three minutes by just standing on the glass. However, eventually he decided to explore near the cheap Venus fly traps once again. And this time he got a little bit too close because he he stepped onto one of the traps and it could literally close on him right now. But the trap took a second too long and the fly was able to fly out once it sensed the movement. You see, Venus fly traps have a very interesting system for how they detect prey and activate their jaws, which I'll go more in depth with when the trap actually traps an insect. For now, the fly just sort of walked around on the dirt for the rest of the timer and well, the cheap trap was a fail. Thankfully, over on the right, we got the expensive one though, worth 10 times more and this should have a much better result. So I put in a new fly and let's get the timer started started to see how quickly this guy gets caught. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this fly was a bit crazier than that first one, because for the first three minutes, he literally just flew around the entire enclosure like he was insane, just hitting all the glass trying to escape. But after he tired himself out, it was time for the Venus fly traps to do their thing. Instantly, you can tell the fly was way more drawn to the traps, as these expensive ones have a much stronger, more smelly nectar. And that was proven because right after, the fly walked in one of the traps. But quickly, it walked out right as the trap closed. Yeah, you can see in this instant replay, the trap may have missed the fly, but comparing the cheap and expensive traps, the expensive one closes way faster. And only a minute later, the fly was still chilling near the traps. And this time, the nectar caught him off guard because he walked onto the trap and put his face straight up to the lip of the plant where it was. And well, yeah, the video is paused right now, but you could probably tell what's about to happen. Just like that, the trap got a perfect close on the fly. You see, every single Venus fly trap has these super tiny trigger hairs inside of the jaws. And when a bug or something touches more than two of them, them, the trap starts to close. And these expensive ones are able to close so quickly that they catch most of prey that steps inside. You can see slight bits of movement inside over the next 20 minutes, but over the next few days, the trap is going to release a type of acid on the fly to digest it down and grow even stronger. Well, it only took five minutes for that to trap the fly, and the cheap one didn't catch any. So the expensive one definitely takes home the win. And I think I'm going to have to rate him a three out of 10 for how entertaining it was to watch. And I just say that because the next two insects should be way, way more interesting, especially Especially the Black Widow. I have no idea what's going to happen with that. Anyway, second up though, we got crickets to test. Thankfully, crickets can't fly or climb glass, so they should be way easier to catch. And after letting one loose in the cheap enclosure, I put 30 minutes on the clock. Let's see what happens. Now, for the first little while, the cricket spent most of its time just walking on the dirt along the side of the glass to, of course, try and find an escape. Because let's be real, every cricket that sees me on this channel knows it's about to get eaten. He did not want to be in here. But after five minutes, he made his first approach to the 
traps. And one thing I should probably say is that the crickets are way more attracted to nectar as it's a primary part in their diet. And that was shown because soon after, the crickets started to climb on the outside of the jaws of this trap. And right after that, I actually realized the cricket had stepped inside one of the traps and it sort of looked like it was drinking nectar. Um, but hello, uh, Venus flytrap, there's a cricket standing inside of you right now. Are you gonna close? Yeah, the cricket really just stood there for 30 seconds. And when it was finished drinking the nectar, it started to walk out and then finally the trap closed. Good job, bro. You were only a minute late at closing. I guess the cricket must have just not hit a trigger hair inside until the very end, which is why that happened. Anyways, nothing really new happened up until 15 minutes left on the clock when I decided I wanted to add in three more crickets to make this more interesting. And while these guys all ran around the enclosure, I closely watched them to see if any would step inside any of the traps. And at five minutes left, this happened. You see, this cricket started to walk up the stem of this trap. Then he walked inside, realized it was a dead end, and tried to turn around. But it was too late because the trap closed on him, leaving him half stuck inside. So I literally just got some time-lapse footage of this guy to see if he'd be able to escape. And actually, while I was recording that, another cricket below also stepped into one of the traps. And he also got half of his body stuck inside. Thankfully, this cricket was able to use some of the stuff around him to pry himself out of the trap. However, I don't know if this guy will be able to do the same since he's in the air and has nothing to grab onto. So I guess I'll just leave you here. Sorry, boy. Good luck. But anyways, that concludes the timer. And I would call this a half success for the cheap plants this time. But oh boy, am I excited to do this with the expensive traps. I didn't want to waste any time. So I put in one cricket. And this time the cricket instantly walked towards the traps like within a couple seconds. And he started to just play with his life because he would just be walking through the plants like this, narrowly escaping the insane speed of these expensive Venus fly traps. Now, only a few minutes later, the cricket once again walked into a Venus fly trap. This time he managed to dodge all the trigger hairs and he put his mouth up to the lip of the plant to drink some nectar. But yeah, the second he started moving again, he wasn't so lucky because the trap got an absolutely perfect close on him. And well, it only took seven minutes for the expensive traps to fully capture a cricket. So once again, I'm gonna have to give the win to expensive. And I think I'm gonna rate that a six out of 10 for entertainment because way more traps closed, which was fun to watch. But you already know what time it is. It is a Black Widow o'clock. Yeah, it's time to test the Black Widows now. Now, I've never actually just seen a Black Widow walking around where I live. I don't know why. I guess they just don't have them here in my state. So the only way to get one was to get out the laptop and find a website selling them. I ended up finding a good listing on this website. So I bought some and the next day they got delivered to my house. As you can see, I bought a pretty good amount of these guys. And as you can probably also see, they're super creepy. They got that signature glossy black color, a massive abdomen. And of course, they got the red hourglasses on the back of that abdomen to let you know they're extremely venomous. In fact, something I just learned about these guys is their venom is actually 15 times more potent than rattlesnake venom. That's why when I opened the container to get a closer look, I got extremely scared when they started running away straight towards me. Bro, that black widow just ran out of here. He webbed down the side of the table and just started running around the floor. But don't worry, I actually scooped him up into this box I had laying around. Um, I'm pretty scared of black widows. Anyways, I went and put one of the black widows inside the cheap trap enclosure and got 30 minutes on the clock. This is about to get interesting. Let's see what happens. Right away, the Black Widow made her way towards the traps. Now, Black Widows are a lot slower than crickets and flies. So if this spider steps inside a trap, there's a high likelihood of it getting caught. And while nothing really happened for the first couple of minutes, eventually the spider started to walk along the tops of some of the traps. You can see Black Widows are very meticulous with their movement and it would very carefully place its legs above the trap, making sure not to step inside. But even with that, the spider was playing a dangerous game because all it needed was one bad step. Anyways, about 15 minutes later, I noticed that the spider had actually started to spin a little bit of silk. And maybe it was planning on building its web here. But unfortunately, she would never get the chance to finish because she took a wrong turn into the Venus fly trap and, well, it closed straight on her. Almost perfectly. However, there was still some legs sticking out. To be honest, it didn't look good for the Black Widow. And besides a few leg twitches, it looked like the spider had just lost to the Venus fly trap. And if you thought that was cool, well, you gotta see the expensive Venus fly traps because right after putting the Black Widow in, he instantly walked up to a Venus fly trap. And literally within the first 30 seconds of the timer, he stepped inside one of the traps, ducked down a little bit too much, and the trap closed on him within an instant. In my opinion, this one was even cooler to watch. And yeah, his legs were also just stuck sticking out of the size of the trap. And well, hopefully that answers the question. Venus fly traps do beat Black Widows. Well, guys, thanks for watching. You can watch another video by clicking there. Anyways, as you can see, my dog's actually repping the brand new Terra Green merch. You know, he's loving it. He loves wearing this. And you can find this and this brand new sticker pack all on the terragreenstore.com and there's also a ton of other stuff there if you uh, want to check it out. Help support the channel and also, 
yeah, just thanks for watching and bye bye. Good boy, Jet.